Hey, SMB Nation, Harry Brelsford on the road up in Woodenville, Washington with Barrett Adams of Soundline Communications. Yeah, nice to have you here. Yeah, well, thank you. It's actually my first time here. So for those of you that don't know, this is the phone system for SMB Nation. So I wanted to come do a site tour and uh, we're going to have some follow-on videos about that and, and just around Seattle over the next couple of months. But Barrett, uh, we've enjoyed working with you for several years mm -hmm. and, and love the reliability and the quality. Those are the things that stand out to me. I, I probably don't use all the features. It's like Microsoft Excel, right? Yeah. I probably use about 10, 15% of Excel to get my job done. So forgive me. But um, for, for, for those of the, uh, the listeners that don't know Soundline Communications, uh, what's your role? I believe you're a co-founder. How mm -hmm. long have you been in business? What's your story? Then I'm going to ask, what do you do? Well, I'm the co-founder and CEO over here, and yep. um, my background has been primarily in business. I went yeah. to the University of Washington for, um, you know, business school, and and um, yeah, you got a little purple on you. There you go. Yeah, it's got to represent <laughs> a little bit here. Yeah, and um, I'd say mostly um, I've just always been into technology, like ever since I was a young kid, and and mostly programming, and so that's why. We've actually created our own um, portal and platform here to run um, our communication system and to provide hosted um, phone services for um, small to medium businesses yep, um, yep. with the focus on multi offices. Yeah. Yeah. Well, before we get into your sort of feature set, um, what's interesting to me is you, you've built a real company here. I mean, you're, yeah. you're in an office park with office space. You know, a lot of people, and, and we can talk about that, a lot of people work from home offices mm -hmm. now with mobility, and that plays into your story, but we'll get we'll get back to that. Uh, how old is your, your company, and how, how many employees do you have? Soundlink Communications is 10 years old um, yeah. as of November 2018, and yeah. so we're we're very proud of that and um, we actually still have our first and third and fourth customer um, yeah. we lost our second customer but that was you know you know some growing pains and, and learning sure um, but you know over 10 years having that cu customer uh, retention yep. without yep. any contracts has been has been pretty cool and um, we just um, we have seven employees yeah yeah no, and you're a real small business yeah <laughs> but we believe in that because our team is all about profit sharing and so everybody is focused 100 percent on the customer because if we want to gain another employee then it, it's kind of like more management and so by keeping it small we're able to just hyper focus on every customer that we get gets you know our full attention and that's kind of why we, yeah. we have such a good yeah no well i would I, I i would agree i would agree when we've had to reach out to you to add a person delete a person do and again i could probably do it if i'd educate myself but your support's mm -hmm. been very helpful my compliments that you're 10 years in business because First of all, that's a milestone. But second of all, that means you launched right into the recession. Mm -hmm. And what's interesting about that is a lot of people don't know that's how Intel started. That's how UPS started. And so companies that launch into recessions, um, they tend to uh, do really well if, if they can make it because mm -hmm. you know they're not buying fancy company cars. They're not flying first class. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You really learn how to run a business. <laughs> yeah, and that was the, a huge thing. Is you know that was um, back in the time when the phone bills were so high from right. um, uh, the landline providers. Absolutely, where you could easily go in and cut a phone bill. You know, sometimes up uh, up to seventy percent. And and now we're kind of seeing things more streamlined where the commodity of voice over IP and, and Xfinity and um, CenturyLink, you know, the prices are all very similar. Right. And so now our huge differentiator is just the feature set and how much we can customize your system to um, replace your old analog phone system without having a huge learning curve or taking away features and things that you really liked. It's, it's more giving you what you had and then really en enhancing it and yeah so it's a nice way to say it yeah, yeah that that really is and so i heard you say small medium business i heard you say single office i heard you say multiple locations mm -hmm. are we forgetting anything and and what you do 
No, I mean, <laughs> you know, everyone's going to sometimes start with a single office, and right. and you know, maybe that they just want four phones that have extensions and and that they can intercom each other. But where our system really shines is when you have multiple offices with multiple departments within yeah. each office across the United States, because then the the complications with other um, portals and our other competitors, it, it's a lot more difficult to deploy, let's say, a new salesperson in yeah. Georgia or a new executive in uh, Tacoma because... Yeah, yeah. I get it. You know, <laughs> how are you going to reprogram all the phones to reference the new person and whatnot? But our system automates all of that. It does. We, we, we've done that. Um, so uh, maybe my, my last question is, where, where can people find you? What's your URL? Um, soundline.io. Okay, I'll put it down on the bottom of the screen. Yeah. <laughs> or getsoundline.com is our legacy domain, but um, soundline.io is just a little bit simpler. Okay. Yeah. And for those uh, for those uh, for those of you that can't see behind the camera, we have a couple of dogs out in the lobby. Mm -hmm. That's a, that's a, a Seattle thing. So dog, you're you're dog friendly. Oh yeah. <laughs> Everyone brings their dogs here, and yeah. Sometimes it gets a little crazy. There's some people that um, will no longer deliver us packages. <laughs> there you go. Well, thanks for your time. Yeah. All right.